Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Curtis here, also known as the Unboxed Fox. So in this video, I will be showing off my entire DVD collection. In my previous video, I showed off my entire Blu-ray collection, and the video before that, I showed off my entire 4K collection. Now, this video is going to be rather long as my DVD collection takes up just over half of my entire collection. So, as I said in my previous videos, I will try not to spend too much time on each DVD, um, as otherwise this will be over an hour, maybe even more. This might even be an hour long. Um, but yes, I will just get straight into it and start showing them off for you. So, here we go. We have 8 Mile, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, and we have... Uh, 30 Days of Night, uh, this is probably, yeah, I think this was the very first special edition uh, that I ever bought. Um, this is a really nice set um, and a really good movie, um, really cool vampire film. Um, the sequel, not so good, but this was really good. Then we have 40 Days and 40 Nights. 40 year old virgin 2001 maniacs which is just a crazy sort of cannibal um, horror film starring Robert England and we have about boy then we have Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter again uh, I should probably take this out of my collection um, at some point now that I have the Blu-ray and then we have the Disney Jim Carrey Christmas Carol um, which in my opinion isn't that fantastic to be honest but it's an okay watch at Christmas then we have the Ace Ventura double pack then we have the original black and white um, Adam's Family collection if I can get you back in there come on, get back in there then we have the Adam's Family film and we have Adam's Family values um, then we have uh, I made this myself so please do um, it's pretty poor but I just need to make a front cover that I made this myself um, and this is The Complete Adventures of Portland Bill <coughs> um, then we have The Adventures of Tintin the original animated uh, series which I'm still yet to watch I do want to watch this at some point then we have The Adventures of Tintin, The Secret of the Unicorn. Then we have um, A Haunting, which is uh, from the Discovery Channel. Um, true stories about actual real hauntings. A Knight's Tale. Alan Carr, Spexy Beast, which I still have yet to watch. Um, Alice in Wonderland. I actually think this is a really good adaptation of Alice in Wonderland um, and not really talked about and this was also a Holy Grail found, find that I found in a charity shop um, then we have Disney's Alice in Wonderland the live action with Johnny Depp um, which is okay um, then we have Ali G in the house um, then we have uh, a really good film. I do want to get this upgraded to Blu-ray at some point or if they bring out a 4K um, American Beauty. Um, then we have the complete Hello Hello TV series which I used to watch when I was younger. Um, I've never seen the whole thing so that needs to be watched at some point. Then we have the entire American Pie um, films. I won't pull them all out. Um, then we have the Amateurville Horror on DVD. Uh, I do need to upgrade this. Maybe I'll get the 4K at some point. And we have A Million Ways to Die in the West. 
Anchorman, Anchorman 2, um, then we have um, An Evening with Noel Fielding, his live stand-up, then we have the entire collection of An Idiot Abroad, which is um, sealed. Uh, I have seen all of these, but uh, I managed to get a copy where it was still sealed, and because uh, I've seen them all, I just haven't opened them. Then we have the, um, in my opinion, the awful remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I didn't go and see this at the cinema, I just waited for it to come out on DVD, um, and yeah, it's pretty poor. Then we have um, the adaptation of George Orwell's Animal Farm. And if I go over here, we have Armageddon, which I think desperately needs a uh, 4K upgrade. <clears throat> a series of unfortunate events. Back to the Future. Again, I do need to pick these up on 4K. Um, as I am a big fan, I have these on VHS. The VHS are sort of boxed up out of the way. Um, I have them on DVD, I have them on Blu-ray, I just want to get them on 4K at some point. Um, then we have the Back to the Future, the complete animated series. Um, I made a bit of a boo-boo and ordered this on eBay, uh, not realising that it was region locked. So I can't actually watch this, but I still keep it in my collection. Then we have Bad Boys 1 and 2, Bad Grandpa. Bad Neighbours, Bad Teacher, there's quite a lot of bad here. Um, then we have the Band of Brothers um, Metal Case collection, um, which was gifted to me. Someone was getting rid of it and uh, they let me have it. Uh, I'm still yet to watch this. Um, I've heard it's really good. Uh, I just need to find some time to uh, watch this through at some point. <clears throat> um, then we have Batman the Killing Joke, Bedazzled, um, the best of MTV's The Tom Green Show, the original animated classic of the BFG, then Disney's adaptation of the BFG, Bicentennial Man, which is a really good film, Big, Billy Elliot, then I have the uh, entire series of Black Books number two and Black Books three. Then I have the Blade trilogy. Then we have Blue Streak, The Boat That Rocked, Bone Collector, Borat, the Bow Selector series, all three series and even Bo in the USA. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, Braveheart, the Bridget Jones movies, only the first two. Um, then we have Bridge to Terror Biffia, the second movie to ever make me cry. <laughs> um, the Brothers Grimm, Bruce Almighty, Bruno, Bucket List, Bulletproof Monk, absolutely love that film. Bumblebee, I thought this was a pretty cool spin-off from the Transformers films. Butterfly Effect, Cabin in the Woods, The Campaign, Candyman, Cars, then we have all 30 of the Carry On films, Casper, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, the Tim Burton one, which is probably the worst adaptation. Um, then we have Charlie Chalk, Chopper, um, one of my favourite adaptations of the Chronicles of Narnia, especially The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe in this collection. Um, really good. Then we have Disney's adaptation and we have the Narnia trilogy. Club Dread. Constantine. 
the Conan remake. Conspiracy Theory. Uh, one of my absolute favourite John Candy films called Runnings. Crank. Crank 2. Cruel Intentions and the uh, pretty bad sequels. Cuban Fury. Danny Champion of the World. Dante's Peak. Daredevil. Darkness Falls. Dark Shadows, which I think is a really fun film. The Day After Tomorrow in this two disc special edition. Um, Dead Silence, which I would like an upgrade of. Uh, I do want to pick this up on Blu-ray. Um, I don't actually know if there is a 4K, but um, if we do get a 4K, I want to try and find that. <coughs> um, Death Proof. I actually think this is a really underrated Quentin film. Um, I really enjoyed it, but yeah, it doesn't get the, the hype. Um, Death Race. Um, Death Watch. Juice Bigelow, Mel Gigolo. Juice Bigelow, European Gigolo. I have seen this. I just, uh, yeah, again, bought one that was still sealed and have just not watched it since, so I had no need to open it. Um, the Dictator. The Die Hard Quadrilogy. I do want to upgrade these to Blu-ray at some point. Hopefully we'll, we could get a 4K at some point as well. Um, a Good Day to Die Hard. Uh, wasn't good. <laughs> um, then we have Dirty Sanchez Series 1. Um, awful movie, I know, but yeah, disaster movie. Um, Disturbia. I think this is a highly underrated film with Shia LaBeouf. Um, highly recommend this. Oh, I really enjoy this film. Um, Django Unchained. Dodgeball. Uh, Dogma. Dog Soldiers. Doom. Doomsday. Drive Angry. I actually really enjoyed that, even though it's got Amber Heard in it. Uh, Due Date. Uh, which, in my opinion, is just like a remake of Planes, Trains and Automobiles for the new generation. Um, the Dukes of Hazard, Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber 2, uh, which wasn't that great. Um, another underrated Charlotte Booth film, which I want to upgrade at some point alongside Disturbia, and that is Eagle Eye. <coughs> East is East. Um, Live, Die, Repeat, which is Edge of Tomorrow. Edward Scissorhands. The Emperor's New Groove. End of Days. Enemy at the Gates. E.T. Euro Trip. Evan Almighty. Evidence, which I thought was a really cool horror film with a really good twist. Evolution, The Expendables films, one, two, and three. I'm yet to watch the fourth one. Um, Face Off, Fantastic Mr. Fox. As you can tell, I am a big World Dole fan. Then we have, I won't pull these out, uh, we have the Family Guy collection, which if I go over here continues. <sighs> Then we have Tokyo Drift, the complete definitive edition of Father Ted. 40 Towers, which I need to get around to uh, finishing off at some point. Flatliners, Filth. Then we have the Final Destination collection, the first one. Final Destination 2, 3, 3D. And five, we have four lions, Forest Gump again, which can probably come out of my collection as I have like three copies of this now. Um, Freddy Got Fingered, Freeze Frame, um, another underrated film that's not talked about um, at all, 
but I highly recommend this. This is Lee Evans, the comedian in a serious role, and I highly recommend. Friday the 13th, The Frighteners, From Hell, uh, all about Jack the Ripper, really good film. Um, Full Metal Jacket, which uh, I did pick up, um, which I did show off in my uh, Pick a Flick, which is one that needs to be watched. Um, so that should really be in my pick a flick pile. Um, we have Funny Bones, Gangs of New York, Gamer, the Garfield films, um, Garf Marenghi's Dark Place, Get Rich or Die Trying, The Girl Next Door, Gone in 60 Seconds, Good Morning Vietnam, then we have the Gotham TV series. I still need to get the fifth season, um, but that's all four of them there. There's two, three, and four. Then we have Greg Davies Live. We have another Greg Davies Live. Both the Gremlins films. Gridiron Gang, which I think is a really good true story film with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Groundhog Day. Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween H2O, then we have Wall Pass, The Hangover, Hangover Part 2, The Eddie Murphy uh, Haunted Mansion, The Hellboy Films, Land 2, Hellraiser, Hide and Seek, um, a really good thriller. Thriller starring Robert De Niro and Dakota Fanning. Um, Highlander again with the alternate cover. Um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And we have. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just moving around on my floor so that I can get down here and show these off. Um, then we have Hole, Homeward Bound, the Honey, I Shrunk and Blew Up series, um, Hostel, The Hot Chick, Hot Shots, Hotel Transylvania, Hot Tamale, House of a Thousand Corpses, Howard the Duck, I Am Sam, Identity, a really, um, another really good thriller that I enjoy um, and would highly recommend. Um, then we have the In Between Us series, one, two, and three. The In Between Us movie, In Between Us two, um, <laughs> Inception, The Incredibles, Glorious Bastards, Inside Out, Into the Blue, The Iron Giant, Adventures of Flying, The Jabberwocky. Um, the Jackass TV series, then the Jackass movies, one, two, and three. Uh, I still haven't got the fourth one yet. Jackie Brown, which I have seen, but is sealed like the other ones I've shown off that are sealed. Um, same with James and the Giant Peach. Um, Jack Frost. Um, we have Jason Byrne, Out of the Box Live. Jason Byrne, Special Eye. Um, Jason X. Uh, which is a lot of fun. Um, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. And we have some uh, Jeffro Live um, comedy there. Then we have, um, which I don't think I've actually put in and watched. Um, I just picked it up because I'm a Harry Potter fan. The Magical World of J.K. Rowling, author of Harry Potter. I don't actually know what it is. I think it might be like a documentary about um, how she came up with the idea and, and stuff like that. <coughs> um, and we have Joe Pasquale live. And we have the Johnny English films. Jumper. Um, another underrated Arnie film, Junior, where, uh, spoiler alert, Arnie has a baby. Um, K9, um, K9PI, 
the Karate Kid remake. Never seen the originals. Um, I'm not majorly interested. They're not my sort of films, really. Um, I did watch this one, and I think I remember it was pretty good. Uh, Keith Lemon, the film. Um, Keith Lemon's Back to the Future tribute. Um, Kevin and Perry go large. Kevin Bridges live. Um, the Kid. Um, I think this is a really cool um, and re really, really good uh, Disney film um, that not a lot of people talk about. I think it's one of them ones that just sort of went under the radar. But yeah, this is a really good film. Um, <clears throat> Kindergarten Cop. The King's Speech. Um, then I have the deluxe extended edition of the Peter Jackson's King Kong. Um, Night and Day with Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. And then I'm going to come back over here. And we have... Ooh, sorry, I'm just trying to get comfortable on my floor. Uh, LA Confidential. Lake Placid. Uh, this is a really funny movie um, about a massive um, crocodile. Land of the Dead, one of my favourite George A. Romero films. The Last Stand. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Then we have the League of Gentlemen um, TV series. From BBC. Uh, the Anniversary series. The film. And then League of Gentlemen Live on Jury Lane. We have The World of Lee Evans. Um, the Lee Evans live box set. Lee Evans live at the O2. Big. Um, Lee Evans Roadrunner. Lee Evans Monsters. Lee Mack live. Legion. Um, Lesbian Vampire Killers. Oh, I know it's a dreadful movie, but I, I have a lot of fun with it. I think it's quite funny. Um, another really good thriller. Um, with a really good twist, and that is The Life of David Gale, starring Kevin Spacey and Kate Winslet. If you haven't seen this, recommendation. We have the Little Britain series, uh, Little Britain Live, Little Rascals. Then we have The Little Vampire. Uh, I actually really enjoyed this uh, when I was younger. Um, and saw it recently, so I, I had to pick that up. Uh, Looper, the Look Who's Talking series, the Lord of the Rings animated classic, which I've recently just put back on my shelf. Um, as you can go and watch my Pick a Flick episode three, um, where I have watched this and reviewed it, and then you can pick the next film that I watch. So please get, do go and check that out. Uh, Love Actually, The Love Guru, um, The Magic Faraway Tree TV series, The Mask, um, Matilda, The Matrix films, um, Annie Matrix, which I still am yet to watch. I know it's been, it's been a while since that's been out, but I've just never really got around to watching that. Um, then we have Ming Machine there. Um, me, myself and Irene, the Mighty Boosh Complete TV series, um, the Mighty Boosh Live, um, Mighty Boosh Live Future Sailors Tour, Mind Horn with Julian Barrett from Mighty Boosh, um, the Mission Impossible 5 movie collection, the Moaning of Life of Cole Pilkington, Moaning of Life 2, The Money Pit, which if uh, you haven't seen this, it's um, pretty much the original to uh, Mouse Hunt, just without the mouse. Um, Money Train with Wesley Snipes and Willie Harrison, The Mongrels TV series, um, Monty Python's Flying Circus, the complete box set of series one to four. The Monty Python films. 
um, then um, I haven't actually watched this. This was bought for me um, a few birthdays back by a friend, and I just haven't watched any of this. Um, I think it's... Um, I don't actually know what it is. I think it's, um, like, maybe all the best bits of Flying Circus. Um, then we have um, Flying... The Flying Circus, Monty Python, uh, John Cleese's personal best, where he's gone through and picked out all of his favourite sketches from the TV series. Um, then we have um, Monty Python Live at the Hollywood Bowl, Monty Python Live at the O2, uh, one down, five to go, um, which was their latest live one, um, Monkey Bone. The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. Um, I kind of wish that they carried on making these. I actually really enjoyed this. Um, I was tempted to watch the TV series, um, which is on Netflix, I believe, um, just to sort of carry on and see how where the story goes. Um, but I think it would have been cool to have seen more of this. Um, then we have Mr. Ben, the complete series, and we have the 50th anniversary edition of that as well. Um, I kept both of them because I know that they're really hard to come by. Bean, the ultimate disaster movie. Uh, Mr. Bean's Holiday. Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. Um, the Monsters, the complete collection. Um, My Girl. My Girl 2. The Naked Gun trilogy. The National Treasure films. Need for Speed. Never Back Down, uh, one of my favourite fighting films. Um, next, I think I only watched this once and it was uh, pretty poor. <laughs> um, Night of the Living Dead, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Noel Fielding's Luxury Comedy, Noel Fielding's Luxury Comedy uh, Series 2, Non Stop, um, Not Another Teen Movie, The Night Professor of Mice and Men. Uh, if you haven't heard of this or read the book, uh, I would highly recommend watching this film. It's it's a really good story. Old School, um, one of my favourite musicals. Um, actually, it is my favourite musical, and that is Oliver. The Omen films. Once Upon a Time in Mexico. The One with Jet Li. The uh, One Hour Photo. Open All Hours. TV series. Then we have uh, the Pacific, um, which is was gifted to me by the uh, person that gave me Band of Brothers, um, and I'm still yet to watch this as well. Um, the Peter Pan live action, um, the original Peach Dragon, which is amazing compared to the remake. Um, Pineapple Express, um, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, absolutely love that film. Then we have the entirety of the Planet of the Apes films, the original ones. Um, Planet of the Apes, the new trilogy. Um, Planet Terror, the Police Academy films. Um, Popeye, the live action Disney with uh, Robert Williams. Um, some of the original Popeye animated series, the Predator trilogy, the Prestige, um, Prince of Persia, we have the Psychoville TV series, uh, series one and two, Pulp Fiction, Push, uh, Eddie Murphy's Raw, um, my absolute favourite Pixar movie, um, Ratatouille, which I need an upgrade of. Uh, I want on Blu-ray or 4K. I believe there is a 4K of that. Um, then we have um, Red Dwarf Series 1, um, which I probably need to um, get rid of because I now have the entire box set of Series 1 to 8. Um then, if we come over here, uh, my 
Red Dwarf collection carries on. We have uh, Back to Earth, Series 10, 11, 12, and the Promised Land um, movie, and the Ricky Gervais show, Road Trip. Um, this was uh, <clears throat> a surprise to me. I picked this up. I didn't actually know that it existed. This is the Robocop, the Prime Directives, um, like TV series or um, TV movies. Um, I, I haven't actually watched these yet. <clears throat> then we have the, in my opinion, the awful remake of Robocop. Um, the Rock. Uh, that's a really good film with uh, Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. We have uh, Roy Chubby Brown. Um, live, we have series one of Ripper Street, Run, Fat Boy Run, Rush Hour, um, and Rush Hour Two, the Santa Claus movies, Saving Mr. Banks, um, Saving Private Ryan, Say It Isn't So, Scar. Um, I think that was a pretty poor film. I thought it was going to be along the lines of uh, Saw, but. Um, if I remember rightly, it wasn't that great. Um, then we have the um, I won't I won't pull all these out, but uh, we have the entire um, scary movie collection, a uh, DVD special edition of Schindler's List, uh, the Scott Pilgrim versus the World, the Scream trilogy, which I would really like to uh, upgrade and get the, either all six on Blu-ray or um, 4k if they release them all individually. I think they have released the first three on 4k so far But yes, I would like an upgrade of the screen films. Then we have the entirety of the Scrubs uh, series Then we have Sean Locke um, live uh, rest in peace <laughs> um, and we have See No Evil with Kane from WWE, Semi Pro. Um, then we have Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy, um, Severance, Shallow How, Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights. And we have the complete collection of Shrek films, uh, which also which includes all the films. Um, 10 shorts and 5 TV episodes. Um, then we have the original Jeremy Brett ITV uh, Sherlock Holmes complete collection. Shoot 'em Up, The Simpsons movie, Sin City, <coughs> The Sitter, The Sixth Sense, and we have the first four series of Skins. Um, Snakes on a Plane, Snatch, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, South Park, Space Jam, Spirited Away, The Spy Kids Trilogy, um, Stardust, The Starship Troopers Trilogy, I believe there is more than three, um, Starskin Hutch, The sort of Star Trek remake film by J.J. Abrams, um, Star Trek Into Darkness, one of my favourite comedy films, Step Brothers, Step Up, Step Up 2, um, Steve-O, Do Not Try This At Home, um, Stitches, which uh, is a really good uh, horror comedy, <clears throat> Street Dance, Street Dance 2, Stripes, Stuart Little, one and two. Um, Spirit, I think this is a really good DreamWorks animation film. Um, Sucker Punch. Then we have WWE SummerSlam 92, which was um, in the UK. Um, then we have Super 8. Then I have the entirety of the Supernatural series, including the anime series where they picked out a few episodes and uh, did them in a anime style. Then we have Sweeney Todd, 
um, the BBC version of Sweeney Todd with Ray Winston, um, Swiss Army Man, Swiss Family Robinson, the first two Taken films, The Taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3, Team America, Ted 1 and 2, Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny, There's Something About Mary, Tideland, Titanic, it's a tight squeeze down there. Um, when we come over to this end of things, <coughs> getting on to the uh, last few, we have uh, Tom and Jerry and Sherlock Holmes, the feature length film, uh, which I'm yet to see. Um, but I do like Sherlock and I love Tom and Jerry. So um, Then we have the Tomb Raider sort of remake, which was made off the new latest remake games. We have the Transporter films then we have uh, Disney's Treasure Island Trick or Treat which in my opinion is a very underrated Halloween movie and uh, everybody should watch it um, Tropic Thunder <coughs> Tuxedo then I have the Underworld collection it's the first one the uh, second one Rise of the Lycans Awakening and Blood Wars. And we have The Unmasking of Jack Ripper, which is a Jack the Ripper documentary. Um, Van Helsing. <coughs> and we have um, Tom Cruise in Vanilla Sky. Van Wilder, one and two. And we have the complete series of Wacky Races. The Tom Cruise version of Ward Worlds. The Watch, or I believe it's also referred to as the Neighbourhood Watch. Um, Watchmen, Tales of the Black Freighter. Then we have um, the Complete Motion comic, which is 12 episodes. The graphic novel comes to life page by page. And it's like the um, animation version of the film. Um, then we have... Wayne's World 1 and 2. Wedding Crashes. Welcome to the Jungle. White Chicks. White Men Can't Jump. White Noise. White Noise The Light. Wild Wild West. Wild Hogs. The Wind in the Willows. Without a Paddle, The Woman in Black, The Woman in Black, um, Angel of Death, World's End, and we have the complete Wurzel Gummidge collection, which also includes um, Wurzel Gummidge the Down Under series, The Wrestler, Triple uh, X, Flex to the next level. Yes, man. Your Highness. Zombieland. Zoolander. Then we got into my uh, Adam Sandler collection, and I have Anger Management, Big Daddy, Billy Madison, Bulletproof, Click, Grown Ups, Happy Gilmore. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, Jack and Jill, Just Go With It, Little Nicky, which is uh, probably one of my absolute favourite Adam Sandler films, um, Mr. Deeds, The Cobbler, The Longest Yard, Waterboy, The Wedding Singer, and You Don't Mess With Zohan. Then I have my Ardman collection, which we have Chicken Run, Early Man, Flushed Away, Shaun the Sheep the movie, Shaun the Sheep Farmageddon, then the absolute classic of Ardman, which is the Wallace and Gromit collection, Wallace and Gromit cast as well, but then we get on to my Disney Classics collection on DVD, which I do need to uh, finish at some point. 
So I won't pull these out, but we have Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Sword and Stone, The Aristocats, Robin Hood, The Rescuers, Aladdin, Lion King, Pocahontas, Hercules, Atlantis, majorly underrated Disney film, um, Tarzan, Dinosaur, Treasure Planet, one of my absolute favourite Disney films, um, Brother Bear, one and two, Princess and the Frog, Frozen, Big Hero 6, Zootropolis, uh, Bedknobs and Broomsticks, which I put down here with these, uh, Black Cauldron, another underrated Disney film, um, Basil the Great Mouse Detective, Oliver, The Little Mermaid, Rescuers Down Under, Beauty and the Beast. Then we have my extended editions of the Lord of the Rings films, my extended editions of the Hobbit films. Then we have my uh, comic book style editions of Hot Fuzz, Hulk, Kick-Ass, Paul, Scott Pilgrim, Shaun of the Dead and Wanted, which I have shown on my channel, which you can go and have a look. I show these in depth. And then last but not least, I have the Rorschach Head Collection of Watchmen on DVD. So that was my entire DVD collection. I know it was a bit long, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't seen my two previous videos, I showed off my entire Blu-ray collection, and then before that I showed off my entire 4K collection, so you can go check them out on my channel now. Um, so if you liked what you saw in this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see some more from my channel, hit that subscribe button, also hit the bell and that will notify you when I upload a new video. Um, so yeah, that was all from me in this video, so bye for now. Thank you.